I'm so excited, guys. You know why? Can you take a guess why? Well, Creative Warehouse is back. <laughs> It's so, so, so exciting because we've taken a long break. Uh, I know, I know. I know it's such a long time. Did you guys miss me? Well, I miss you guys. First of all, these glasses ain't helping me. It's just so dark everywhere. I'm going to take this off. I'd rather do this without a glass. Shagara is not a joke. If you're not subscribed to my channel on YouTube, you are on a long, long, long thing. So you don't want to miss any of my videos, any of my tips and tricks, right? So rush to YouTube right now and subscribe and press the notification icon so that whenever I make a video, you'll be part of the first to know. We're going to be dishing out a lot of tips and tricks and then create tutorials on how you can achieve them. The sort of tricks or VFX you see in some big budget movies, we're going to be creating them our own way and show you how you can achieve the same, same results. After all, filmmaking is about being creative, right? Hmm. Isn't that why it's called Creative Warehouse? In other words, Creative Warehouse is here to indeed be creative. So buckle up your seatbelt, brace yourselves. It's going to be an awesome, awesome ride, guys. Trust me, you're not even prepared for what we're bringing. Like a lot, a lot of amazing content. I'm not going to be leaving you today without showing you one of my many superpowers. So watch this. Ah, uh, what's happening? All right, let's go again. Hoo -hoo -hoo, it's working. Woo. Woo Welcome to Creative Warehouse. Wait, you thought I was just going to leave like that? Nah. Let me take you behind the scene of how we shot this. All we needed was a fishing line and a scissors. So we cut the fishing line and tied it neatly to my sunglasses. And that was how all we needed. Then we had our camera on tripod and made sure nobody touched it. Well, it took us a while to get this correctly because I had to brainstorm with my cousin Dave to see how we're going to get this correctly because we didn't want the glasses to fall over. We wanted it balanced, properly balanced. But eventually, we got it working. <laughs> then the next thing we did was to shoot a clean sheet. A clean sheet is a shot without me nor the glasses. Then we started shooting. Mind you, we took so many shots before we decided which one was going to work. So this is something you need to bear in mind also. Working, it's working, it's working. Woo! Welcome to the Creative Warehouse. Now we are done with the shoot. Let's go into Premiere Pro for some editing. All right, we're right here on Premiere Pro. Um, so what I did first was map out my in and out points for my clip and dragged it onto the timeline. Then, look for my clean sheet. Mark out my in and out point for my clean sheet. It must be the same length with the main video. And then, drag it onto the timeline beneath the main clip. The next thing to do is to start masking. So you go to Effects Control Panels, you click on your masking tool, then you start masking. So after we're done masking, you notice that I disappeared. You just go to the masking tool and click on invert, then I'll appear. Now the importance of the clean sheet is so that when you're done masking, it is the clean sheet that will be showing here, not the line. So the fishing line has disappeared. The next thing to do is to start animating our mask. So you go to the masking properties, click on mask path, and you start animating it. I must tell you guys, this is a very painstaking process. It took me about 12 hours plus to do the masking frame by frame and clean up. 
so that you do not see the fishing line anywhere. So this was the process. This is what it looks like when you're done masking. You see the mask animates along with it. That's all. So I had a preview and um, if you preview very closely, you would notice that the fishing line was still showing in a couple of places. That's where the cleanup became necessary. So you have to clean up frame after frame and make sure you do a very, very neat job. So that's really about the size of how we did this. Thank you very much for hanging around. I hope you enjoyed this and found it entertaining. Once again, please like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and remain your host, Sammy Joe, and see you in our next video.